like a different second half experience from the first half? Just what was different out there? Final twenty minutes. Um, yeah, we just didn't. We didn't stick to the game plan. We got a bunch of young guys, and we're, we're trying to play a bunch of guys. And I think we had some combinations out there at both ends. You can't help up. I mean, you just can't help up. You help up, they're going to throw it to the rim. And they're going to, he's too big, too strong. We just we started helping up for for a lot of reasons. Uh, we didn't do what we were planning on doing. What do you think of Oscar today? Beautiful thing about Oscar is Oscar is Oscar. He didn't try to be anybody else. Um, you know, he's really good at what he does. And you don't have to worry about him going out and dribbling between his legs and losing it or jacking up threes. You know, like some guys in his situation would do. Oscar knows who he is and he's happy with who he is. And he's pretty damn good at who he is. Was there to sort of extend the lead a little bit, and did that set a tone? You think for the, the second half? Twelve for twenty-two from the free throw line. We miss, we miss uh, both ends of the, of the two shot foul. Kills us. When, when you say you're getting away from the game plan, who who on the floor would you like to see get the team back on the right page, or is there somebody? Well, we've got three seniors. Uh, one didn't. One, one didn't play today. Uh, one of them has played very little, and the other one is a transfer who has not been here a year. So I don't. I don't have a lot to pick from. What, what did you think Marcus Garrett provided for KU oh, offensively? He's a hard cover. He's a hard cover when they play him at four because he can bounce it so well. Anything else? Yep, Bob, it seemed in the second half there were some calls not going your guys' way, and you could see on the floor some of the guys becoming frustrated. Did you pull them aside and say anything to them at any point there, or did, or did you just kind of let it? Play our guys. Yeah, your guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't really get into the whole explanation, but yeah. See, I think the whole explanation is, I, and I'm not going to give them trouble for saying this because this is not this is not degrading anybody. You got three guys out there who don't see the game differently. I mean, you, you know, we got we got ten coaches in the league, and they all see how how, how to play basketball differently. And so, you know, you get a call on one end from a guy who really thinks he made the right call and, and probably did. And then you don't get that same call on the other end because there's another guy down there who didn't think that that was, that, that was a play on, shouldn't be called. Now all of a sudden you're saying, why are you calling it down here and you're not calling it down there? Well, they're not. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, that, I, think that's, I think that's hard on officials. You know, and I don't know if, I mean, we're never going to have where we have the same crew all the time. I understand that. But I just think it makes it hard on them. It makes it hard on them. And then you get you get fans booing you when they do the replay thing because you did or you didn't call something that the other guy either called or passed on. Just be, you know, it, I mean, it happens awfully fast. So, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a hard deal. I, if they wouldn't get paid so damn much, I'd feel sorry for them. <laughs> but since I know what their check is, I don't feel a bit sorry for them. Do you see any fix there going forward? I mean, it's been that way for how long? Right. I mean, it was just, it was two opinions before for a long, long time. And now it's three. And, and I think the game is, uh, the game's a lot faster. The game's a lot faster. Shot clocks change the game. A lot of things have changed the game. So, uh, probably need three.
and, and it's not, and again, it's not their fault. And it's really not their fault.